What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Straight Facts Up Match, and I'm back with another reaction video. And this reaction video is going to be about Strong Mommy Chrissy and her boyfriend. Before we get off into this video, I just want to encourage any woman that's out there in a toxic or abusive relationship to seek help and to walk away from it before it's too late. Because sometimes you can stay in a relationship way too long and then, you know, it's too late to walk away from it because, you know, you're with someone that may be so abusive to where they end up taking your life and, you know, it's just not worth it. So if you are in a toxic, abusive relationship, ladies, men too, if you are in a relationship to where it's um, very abusive, I just encourage you to, you know, speak up and speak out. You never know um, who will be willing to help you get away from that situation or walk away from it, you know, or put you in something, put you in a better situation than what you are in so that you don't have to deal with that type of, you know, behavior from a man or a woman or whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to say that before I get off into this um, reaction, since it has something to do with domestic violence. And, you know, it's so many women that lose their lives due to domestic violence because they choose these men that are no good. You know, when you are searching for men off of POF, you are searching for men off the street and you just so desperate to where you just willing to move men off into your home around your children, not knowing who these men really are. You never know what you could be subjecting yourself to or to your children. You never know what you could possibly endure dealing with someone that you do not know that is a complete total stranger, you know, and it just doesn't make it any better if you have children and you bring in this man or this woman around your children, not knowing who they really are, you know, so it's important that you, you know, it's important that you make really uh, good decisions when it comes to being a parent and when it comes to, um, you know, dating certain people or certain pe dating people in general, because, you know, you never know what somebody could be capable of. So, Shaw Mommy Chrissy's boyfriend has a mugshot and it has something to do with family domestic violence. And okay, he stays with her. So, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together as to what it could be or whatever or whatnot. But I'm not going to assume anything and say what I what I think or because I don't know. All I know is that he has a mugshot saying that he was charged for domestic violence and he was arrested. Okay, we already know what type of woman Christy is. Christy is the type of chick to get on here and fabricate her life. And it's not exactly what she claimed for it to be. And that's what she does. She's been doing this. If you are not familiar with her, all you got to go do is just go to her channel and go back to her videos and you can see what type of person that she really is. This whole, uh, she's rebranding her channel. Um, you know, she's no longer um, involved in drama anymore. Any type of drama that was brought to Chrissy's channel is because she was a part of it. So people need to be clear on that and need to start making these grown women take accountability for their actions. Um, she had a, a strange man around her children and still do have a strange man around her children that has a mugshot for domestic violence. People seem to turn the, turn the other cheek when it comes to Christy, but when it comes to Olivia and Jasmine, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to go ahead and go all in on them. But when it comes to Jasmine, I mean, when it comes to Chrissy, oh, it's not going to be too much on her. Now, when I do my reactions, I'm going to give all fair reactions. I already know what type of chick she is. She gets on her. She fabricates her life. She lives in these fairy tales. And she forced relationships on these men that really don't want the relationship that she, the type of relationship that she wants. And then it ends up blows, blowing up in her face. And then she has to get on her and retract um, about whatever it is that people are talking about because she done put on this uh, show uh, making it seem like it's one way when it's not. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's, that's not why it's never okay for you to get onto your platform and paint your life to be something that it's not because somebody could end up coming onto YouTube or wherever it is that you're at and tell people what it really is. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's very important to be honest to your supporters, be honest with yourself and be honest about your situation before you start hopping on here, making it seem like your boyfriend is this great man and he's Prince Charming. He done swept you off your feet, but really he's knocking you off your feet, allegedly. Um, people are saying that he done punched her tooth out. People are saying he done choked her out. And I don't know what's true and what's not true, but what I'm saying is, is that, you know, 
she is the type of woman that will sit up there and fabricate a whole life that's not even real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not even her reality. And that's why I'm saying, like, people shouldn't be shocked by the fact that he has a whole mugshot. They shouldn't be shocked by the fact that she has fabricated this whole situation between her and Rod to be something that is not. Because that's Chrissy. That's just what she do. She's just like Olivia and Jasmine. She does not deserve no type of brownie points. This whole she's rebranding her channel with a whole strangler in her house. You know what I'm saying? That can't seem to get it right because he has a whole mugshot for domestic violence. I mean, come on now. Now, she's coming on here talking her shit about what's being said about her and this move and stuff. But she has yet to come on here to say anything about her boyfriend and this mugshot that he had for domestic violence. And she's not going to until she feels like she's forced to because that's just what she do. But she's been on here putting this boy on a pedestal, making it seem like he's just a stand-up guy. He's so outstanding. He's so this and he's so that. But he got a mugshot. So can we get an explanation on that? People are saying, well, you know what? She doesn't have to. And you know what? She does not have to. It is her prerogative to speak up and speak out on this if she wants to or not. And if she doesn't want to, that's solely her choice. But the thing of it is, is that you have to remember, you brought this man into your home around your eight children, around your daughters and around your sons. And you made it be known to um, YouTube that this man was so wonderful. He was so great. He was so excellent. And all of this just to come find out that he got a whole mugshot for domestic violence okay and you've been picking and choosing all right what you want to show on the camera because what you come what's coming out your mouth is not what really is going on in your real life it's not your reality we have been seeing you sitting in the car um you know, that's basically what your content's been consist of. You know what I'm saying? You sitting off in a car talking about what you've been doing, how you've been doing, and all of that type of stuff. But you have not been doing no day in the lives with you and your kids like that. You ain't been doing a day in the life with you and Rod like that. But you put him up on so high of a pedestal, it's just like, wow. Now he got a whole mugshot of domestic violence. Can you explain? You should want to explain. Because you have... So many people following you on your channel, including some young girls, and they don't need to be thinking that bringing all of these random ass men around your kids and all types of stuff like that because you are too um, ashamed or don't want to be alone or whatever the case may be. I mean, I don't know what it is at this point. All of these females is delusional as hell. They don't mind bringing all of these random ass men around their kids. And they feel like nobody should have anything to say about it because if you do, then you're a hater and you're jealous like of what? Of the shit that y'all be doing? I don't think so. I would never want to be on a public platform displaying my ghetto ratchet ass life like that. I would not want to. I mean, I damn sure wouldn't be on here calling these men bae and hubby and all of that type of shit with these type of backgrounds that they have. And I'm not saying that a man with a background can't be a good man. What I'm saying is, is that a man with a background that keeps continuing to keep doing the same shit that he has been charged for prior is somebody that you should not want in your house or around your kids. But she's going to find some type of way to um cover this up or sweep around this shit to make it seem like oh it's not what it is and it's not what it seems just like she did before and it's just it's gonna be like okay well you know it makes absolutely no sense you know but it makes more sense now why to she haven't been really showing too much of nothing because uh what she's been really saying is not what it really is okay and then him saying that he don't like to be on the camera yeah i bet he don't want to be on the camera because he don't want people to see him for who he really is okay it's all a facade. It's all a front for the camera, you know, because why else wouldn't they be, you know, showing themselves and they so happy and so in love and all of that. And then she's sitting up here talking about some, oh, well, I've done learn not to share so many things about my life on YouTube, but you didn't, but you didn't, but you didn't, um, budge. You didn't stop yourself from bringing him to YouTube though. After the whole BAM situation. And it had just happened. That man was all up and through your house. Taking pictures and all types of shit. Talking about you. Exploiting you and all types of shit over the internet. For money and all whatever. Whatever whatnot. And then you gonna move this man off of your house. And you didn't even know him. And you hadn't even seen him in person or nothing like that. But you moved him up off in your shit. Talking about he had his own place. He had his own car. He had his own money. But when your ceiling was caving in or when you had that flood or whatever, y'all didn't make y'all's way over there to his apartment that he supposedly had. And that made no sense to me. Okay. That's because there'll be a lot of lies being told instead of people telling the truth of what it really is. People want to make things seem like what is, you know, make things seem something of what it's not. And that's why there's an issue now. 
And that's why she's going to duck and dodge the fact that there's a whole mugshot of her boyfriend floating around and she's not trying to address it. She's no different from Olivia and Jasmine. So I don't understand why people are trying to make it seem like she is. She's the clotting of these YouTube streets. She has no problem with adding more babies and more babies to her equation. But she swore up and down that she could have uh, that she could use some help or whatnot. But come on. Are you serious, though? And then not to mention, Rod is such a good guy, but he have a whole child that nobody has ever seen him with or never seen the child come visit. And Chrissy seems to be okay with that as well. But nobody wants to point that out. But I'm here to point everything out that I have observed and that things that I have seen because it's a bunch of bullshit. And if I'm going to give a reaction, I'm going to make sure it's a fair reaction. I could care less who it's about. But, you know, you have to understand that, you know, everything is not what they're all, what they seem to be. Some people... Uh, keep it real and some people like to keep it the way that they want people to think that it is and it's you know when it ain't you know what I'm saying so it's up to people to open up their eyes to see things for what they are because it makes absolutely no sense for this girl to be sitting up here um broadcasting that this dude is such an upstanding guy but then he has this record of domestic violence and then she's not trying to talk about it she's trying to reflect and deflect from it by talking about her moving every year because she can't seem to uh have any type of consistency or stability for herself or her children even when it comes to her decision making when it comes to these men that she keeps choosing so yeah you know I'm not going to get on here and give an unbiased. I'm not going I mean, I'm not going to get on get on here and give a biased reaction. I'm going to get on here and give an unbiased reaction cuz she's no different from Jasmine and Olivia and that's just what it really is. So, there's more to come. I'm going to keep on dropping reactions and respectfully, if you feel some type of way about what I had to say, then that's just too bad because I'm going to keep it fair. If I can get on here and speak my mind about Jasmine and Olivia, I'm going to do the same when it comes to Christy. She is not exempt. She is just like them. Um people are saying that she's trying to rebrand her channel but yes she has brought a whole strangler man off in her house around her kids and he's in there doing whatever it is that he's doing to her hopefully he's not doing anything to the children like these are just one of those type of situations to where you just don't know you know and i'm not going to sit here and say say this and say that because i don't know for sure as to what's going on in her house but what i can say is that her boyfriend has a domestic violence situation that he had going on last month that caused him to be arrested okay and she's, she knows about it. Now we know about it. The thing of it is, is she going to come to her platform and um, talk to her supporters and let her supporters know exactly what took place and what happened? Or is she going to just cover it up and just say that, oh, well, it's nothing like that. And, you know, you guys don't even worry about it. You know, the same thing when it came to her divorce, she said that she have a whole divorce, but yet she want us to mind our business, but she had no problem with coming to YouTube talking about how her husband wasn't doing this and how her husband wasn't doing that and how her husband's girlfriend either to stay in her place you know they be selective with what they want to share and what they want to talk about when it's convenient for them just like they try to be selective in this whole oh race thing when it's convenient for them when they doing some bullshit that they want you to agree with and want you to kiss their ass and i'm not going to do that whether we be the same color or not or come from the same background or not Wrong is wrong or right is right. And y'all need to get y'all shit together. As mothers, you should want to do better and want better for your children, especially when you got daughters. You shouldn't want your daughters to think that you could be a revolving door uh, for a man, for him to come in and out and get you pregnant and just get up and walk out and leave you. You know what I'm saying? Or have a boy, you have your sons thinking that it's okay for a man to mishandle or mistreat a woman and uh, put his hands on a woman. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So people are around here just really talking about a whole lot of things. And I, I mean, we just have to sit back and wait and see what Chrissy has to say about it. But yeah, I mean, it makes no sense to me that you will keep coming on your platform to address something about you moving every year, but not come to your platform and address the allegations towards your your, your uh, boyfriend that you've been hyping up, you know, that you've been trying to get on here and outdo uh, Chris, you know, when it comes to Jasmine or whatever the case may be. I mean, let's just be clear on it, you know, talk about it. Let's talk about it. You want to be Mother Teresa and you want people to be thinking that you're rebranding your channel, then come to your platform and come to your supporters and let them know exactly what it is when it comes to your boyfriend having that domestic violence situation and being arrested for it or whatever. Um, you know, inquiring minds would just like to know. You came on here with a mask on your face, talking about you bit into a chip and it, and it broke your tooth and all of that type of shit. Is that the truth or is that a lie? Or did he hit you in your mouth? Because that's what people are saying, allegedly, that he punched you in your mouth, knocked your tooth out, and that he choked you or whatever. So, you know, 
It makes absolutely no sense that that is going around if that is not true, but it's up to you to clear that up. And it's also up to you whether you, if you want to or not, and it's your prerogative. You don't have to, but you know, as a public figure and an influencer, and you call yourself Strong Mommy Chrissy, you owe it to the people that are supporting your channel to know exactly what's going on, especially since they uplift y'all so much to be this so uh, this so-called power couple that y'all are not. Y'all are just like Jasmine and Chris, and let's just be clear, okay? Just because a person chooses not to show this and show that does not mean that everything is okay. As you see, there's a whole fucking mugshot with this man uh for domestic violence okay so y'all i just wanted to get on here and do this reaction i mean i know there's a lot of a lot of talk been going about going around about how some reactors are picking and choosing what they want to talk about or whatever but not me um i've always gave reactions on strong mommy chrissy and i will continue to keep doing so because i could see through her bullshit just like i could see through jasmine's and olivia's as well and it is what it is you know you need to start owning up to what it is that you do and how you be coming on YouTube with all these different dudes around your children, just like Jasmine, just like Olivia. You're not exempt for a reaction, so therefore I gave you one. And it is what it is. I mean, it's not nothing personal and it's not nothing um, nothing to be hating on or to be jealous about or nothing like that because I would never want that many kids with that many different baby fathers and um those many different situations to where I have to keep um, sacrificing this, that, and the third because I'm not able to afford my bills or my children. So, no, it's no hate over here. And I damn sure wouldn't be bringing stranglers up around my house, up in my home, um, having situations to where they end up getting arrested for domestic violence, okay? And that's just what it is. All right, I understand that things happen, and I understand that not everything is peaches and cream, and that sometimes that couples do get off into it. You know, they have altercations, and they may have uh, something. May, something may go down, and not all the times it's the people that are in an altercation that's you know getting into the fight. It's the ones that call the police. It could be neighbors or something like that because, you know, they may hear a lot of noise and they know that there's kids there, so they're scared. So they just call the police and the police come and they document and they make a report. You know, I, I do understand all of that. I do. I do take all of those things into consideration. Um, these people, these women are not the first women to go through the things that they choose to go through. Um, some women are not recording. You know what I'm saying? They're just not recording. And it is what it is. And that's exactly why I said I would never record no shit like this, but to each his own. If you feel like um, this is this is what you want to make revenue off of, so be it. That's your, that's your business. But I would never. But um, yeah, you know. This is the type of lifestyle that these women are living. They bring all of these random men around their children and they and they think that this is what's up. And then they come on here trying to sell these dreams to these people and these people buy them and be thinking that, you know, everything is one way when really and truly it's a whole totally different opposite. And, you know, that's exactly why she shouldn't get on here and do it because she had to do it with her husband. She got on here and painted this picture about her husband being uh, this stand up guy and come to find out he wasn't shit. Then he ended up leaving her for a whole nother woman and have a whole nother baby somewhere else and all of that. So, you know, it's a whole lot of things when it comes. It's a whole lot of things um, that you could say when it comes to Chrissy. Um, like I said, she's been done showed her hand. She's been done showed her poor decision making and all of that type of stuff. So I don't understand why people is acting as if like they don't know that this is the way that she operates and this is the way that she moves or whatever. But as far as domestic violence go, you know, I don't wish this up on anybody. So if she is experiencing any type of domestic violence, I hope and pray that she does get herself out this situation because she has way too many kids to be watching her go through this type of shit. And there's way too many men out here that don't um, put their hands on women. So I don't understand why she would be selling for settling for one that does, you know, and he's not um, nothing to be um, um, even he's not nothing to be sent up there going through that type of shit, especially if he's not contributing to the household and he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing or whatever, because, you know, everybody want to say that these men got jobs. Chris got a job. Rod got a job. OK, whatever. All right. Well, we can only go off of what Chrissy say because we don't see Rod getting up going to no job. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this. 
if it's a lie when Jasmine say that Chris is going to a job, then how come it can't be a lie when Chrissy said it's Rob Ryan is going to a job? Y'all need to take those type of things into consideration when y'all try to say, put them into the same sentence when they shouldn't have anything to do with one another because they're two separate individuals. However, they seem to get um, mentioned to with one another when certain things go down, and I just don't understand. But if you want to, if you want to go th go there, let's just say that um, Chrissy. And Rod, Jasmine, and Chris are all in the same boat with their relationships and how they came about and all of that type of stuff. And how they are, um, those men are both strangers to those, to all of these children. They don't know who these men are. You know what I'm saying? And neither does these women. And it is what it is. So people need to start taking accountability for their actions and stop trying to make it seem like people are trying to tear them down and trying to bash them when they keep making these piss poor decisions.